X-linked recessive inheritance. In X-linked recessive, the mother is a carrier and it affects the males only. Fifty percent of the males will be affected for a carrier mother. Think of hemophilia. The mother is carrying the gene. The boys will be affected, but the mother is not affected. Fifty percent of the boys will be affected. So if you look at a diagram and you say all affected individual have no affected parents, then this is a recessive condition. And if males are affected and no female affected, so the disease is inherited from two unaffected parents, so it is recessive, the male is affected more, and the sons will inherit the problem from their mom, then that is a six-linked recessive or X-linked recessive. So basically we have 46 chromosomes which contain our genes. Two of them determine the sex. They're called the sex chromosomes. Usually they are the last two chromosomes. They are X and Y. If you have an XX, then you are a girl. If you have an X and Y, then you are a guy. The six link traits are usually on the X chromosome because it is larger and has more genes than the Y chromosome. Let's take an example, a male and a female. The male carries the gene and the female carries the gene. The female will not be affected because she has dominant normal genes. The male will be affected because there is no dominant normal gene present. When there is no dominant present, the recessive gene will show up and cause the problem. So the X-linked recessive diseases usually occurs in males, and as I discussed before, the male has one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. And if he has a single recessive gene on that X, then the disease will occur. And here is an example of a diagram that shows how the disease is transmitted. So what are the conditions that are transmitted by X-linked recessive? Number one, hemophilia A, it affects factor eight. One in 5,000 males are affected. Second one is color blindness. The third one is Hunter syndrome. What is Hunter syndrome? It is one of the mucopolysaccharidoses. The defect in the enzyme would interfere with the body ability to break down glucosaminoglycans. It is similar to mercury, but different enzymes involved. Another one is Duchenne muscular dystrophy, DMD. It is a nerve demyelination. The dystrophin gene is involved. You got the Gower sign. The hip extensors are usually affected first. It affects males. The dystrophin gene is absent, but in Becker's muscular dystrophy, the dystrophin gene is decreased or reduced. The last one is SED TARDA. The SED TARDA is called Spondyloepiphyseal dysplasia tarda. I call it the spinal epiphyseal dysplasia just for the sake of remembering it. Type 2 collagen is involved. Random mutation in about 50% of the time. It is less severe and it doesn't have the same lower extremity angular deformity. So what is the difference between autosomal recessive and X-linked recessive. Retosomal recessive 
usually appear in both sexes with equal frequency tend to skip generation and the affected offspring are usually born to unaffected parents. If it is dominant, whatever autosomal or X-linked, it will not skip a generation. The X-linked recessive will have affected son if the mother is a carrier. I hope you liked that video. If you liked the video, please push the button like and thank you for listening. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.